Hello, with this um, small video I would like to demonstrate how you easily migrate from OpenSUSE to Ansuse Linux Enterprise Server and with help of the Azure Hybrid Benefit how to transfer that further to a PSGO instance. First, from our um, laptop or workstation we need to log in into Azure. We use here the command line utility a set and then I will set a few variables for creating our um, a set command line tooling because that makes it more easy without typing these things again. So I've, I've created a group and then our virtual machine and I provided um, additional parameters for generate SSH keys and a uh, um, visual output so I can get directly the um, IP address and I can simply then log in because my SSH keys get automatically attached to that image. So we can check here now um, with looking at ECOS release that we have an OpenSUSE. We will later on doing the similar thing after we convert it to a SLES machine. First, we need to install um, an RPM package which provides that migration tool. It's called yas 2 Migration SLE. And um, here, after refreshing all the repositories, the package will get installed. The package is a um, graphical um, interface, so as we are in a terminal, we will see that as an NCURSES interface here. It will check um, that you have, if updates are needed, normally you should do that. I skipped that in favor of being a little bit faster. Then we need to provide our email address and our Linux Enterprise Server registration code. Um, in the documentation, I provided the way how you do that. You can use a an, an, an 60 days trial code if you want to move to a um, PSGO image, or you have bought a um, normal subscription um, from the SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. This will now take a few minutes because we just ring in the SUSE Customer Center and um, getting all um, SUSE Linux Enterprise Server repositories and all the metadata. And then we need to agree to the license terms. And after that, we can start our migration. You get a summary what additional repositories from SUSE Linux Enterprise Server you get installed and also which additional packages we need here or get automatically installed. This will also take a while. I speed up the video a little bit here. It takes a little bit longer. If everything is installed, you get a confirmation message and the virtual machine gets rebooted. After that reboot, we SSH back into the machine to check if it's now a SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. We do this again with um, looking at the OS release file. And we see that it's now in SUSE Linux Enterprise Server. A quick look to the repositories. We also will see that we have much more repositories now as in a um, OpenSUSE version, because in the SUSE Linux Enterprise Server, we have a lot of modules. Now we want to have a pay-as-you-go image. And 
for that um, we need Azure extension, Azure Hybrid Benefits for SLES, and this needs to be installed in our um, extend, um, in our VM, again from our workstation or laptop, and then finally the update command, and we provide here a new license type, because Bring Your Own has no license type. Now we provide the license type SLES, which um, indicates that we have now a um, pay-to-go image. To check that, we um, will have a look at the repositories again. Normally, the repositories are attached against um, the SUSE Customer Center, but here now we will see that it's attached against the Cloud Update Infrastructure. Yeah, so plug in SUSE Cloud. This is the Cloud Update repositories and therefore we are sure that it's a pay as go The collection of the repositories takes a while. have um, not seen all, but um, with this here now, we checked that's all. And we are there. Um, we have now a SUSE Linux Enterprise Server as pay as go in Azure.